This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist Express. If any of them gets owned, yeah. it's the, it's, it could have you know, been any domain, right? Exactly, I mean, exactly. every, every certificate authority has the ability to issue a certificate for every domain on the internet. Right. So uh, is that what that protocol tries to address? Well, the, I mean, uh, so, you know, in particular, I feel like the problem that we're looking at right now is that, you know, web browsers or users, uh, if, you know, for web browser users, if something like this happens with Komodo, it couldn't have been worse, couldn't have been more embarrassing, you know, couldn't have been, you know, more disastrous. Yeah. And nothing happened to them. And why? Well, it's because there's, there's no way to untrust them. You know, at some point, we made a decision to trust them. And now we're pretty much locked into trusting them forever. Because if, if we remove them from the, the, the web browsers, then just a quarter of the internet breaks. They, they certify somewhere between a quarter and a fifth of the secure sites on the internet. I've, I've used them for certificates, exactly. yeah. It's cheap. Yeah, it's <laughs> fast. <laughs> and, you know, and so those sites will no longer work. And you, basically, the, you know, if a web browser does that, they're going to be breaking a quarter of the internet for all of their users. So they can't really do that. And so you know, basically, I feel like the problems that we look at today are because we have this missing property that I call trust agility. It's the ability to uh, remove trust from exactly. people. Exactly. Make you know at any moment make a decision about who you trust and who you don't trust. And then what? Then the burden is just on the purchaser of that certificate to say, wait, what? We purchased a certificate from this authority. They gave a certificate to some black hat. So now we can't trust them. I have to move somewhere else. Does it, does it no. not just push the problem onto, you know, say Amazon.com buys their certificate from Komodo? Komodo gets hacked. Now they have to go yep. through another registrar. Well, so um, I've released some software called Convergence, and uh, Convergence is a system for, um, you know, that provides trust agility and. It basically inverts the trust relationship. Where right now, uh, the trust relationship is initiated by a site. Amazon says, I would like a certificate, or Facebook says, I would like a certificate. And what we're doing is inverting it so instead of the site talking to the authority, the user or the client initiates the relationship with the authority and says, hello, authority, would you please certify this site for me right now? Uh, and it happens, you know, uh, s and the powerful thing about that... It's kind of like DNS. Exactly. And the, the powerful thing about that is that this means that it's the client who can choose what authority they would like to talk to. So, you know, if... So, so you wouldn't have just an implicit, yes, it's trusted, no, it's not. You would get some sort of, there would be like a barometer <laughs> of trust? No, you, you get uh, an implicit yes or no response from, we call them notaries, these notaries that you talk to, these authorities. Um, but uh, it's, you know, it, you can decide who you trust, right? You know, maybe the, no, the, the notary is lying. But, uh, you know, I can identify a set of organizations that I trust today to make these kind of decisions, and they're not companies like VeriSign or Komodo. Uh, you know, it probably looks pretty different. But what I don't want is to identify a set of organizations that I'm going to trust forever. Yeah. Because I, that seems insane to me, to think that, you know, we can pick some organization that we're going to trust forever without any incentives to continue warranting our trust, which is how it works right now. Komodo knows that they can do whatever they want and that, you know, there's really nothing that we can do. So what are the hurdles that we face to moving towards some sort of architecture like that? Well, okay, so I've released some software called Convergence. It's a Firefox add-on, uh, and it also has a server component. Um, so now, at this point, anybody can run their own trust notary, and if you know if there are people that trust you, they can use that to uh, certify their communication along with any other number of notaries for themselves. Um, and you know, at this point, I'm releasing this as an add-on, and hopefully, uh, this technology will get baked into the web browsers themselves. So, is this open source? It's open source. And have you released like the server part of it, or is it just like the? the I released the add-on part of it and the server part of it, so anybody can run their own notary, and anybody can run convergence on the client side. Okay, so then anybody can decide who's trustworthy and who's not, exactly. but it's who subscribes to them. Exactly. So then, if somebody, you know, says that somebody's trustworthy that they aren't then it's only just a matter of time before you right. know you can people switch. just kind of switch yeah, over the to the to switch. That, right. that that that's a lot of burden on users too well, and i'm sure that this would require a lot of education well uh, you can also think about it just pushing that down into the client right the browsers could be making those decisions right you get a web browser and you it comes with sane defaults yeah. uh, and if some somebody does something egregious the web browser just removes them uh, from the uh, default settings uh, which is kind of how it works now with the web browsers choose certificate authorities the problem is that now once a web browser puts a certificate authority in, they can't it's good. really ever yeah, take it yeah. out. Uh, oh, actually, uh, Mozilla had talked about this when the Komodo hack went down. They were like, "Yeah, these are bogus." We and they 
contemplating actually just removing the keys out of, or, or did they at some point remove the specifically those keys from, oh, uh, they, from Firefox? They revoked the specific uh, certificates. Oh, just the specific certs, yeah, not right. the CA. Yeah, exactly. And this is because certificate revocation uh, does not work on the internet, you know, and the, actually I published this in 2009. I gave a talk about defeating OCSP, which is the certificate revocation protocol, and nobody ever fixed it. Huh. And so uh, now they were in this problem, you know, they had this problem where they couldn't use the revocation mechanisms, and so they had to add, actually explicitly bake in and revoke certs into the binaries and then distribute all new web browsers. You know, we've seen a lot of this, uh, you know, changes in, you know, pro massive protocol changes, the move to IP6, uh, DNSSEC, yeah. uh, a lot of the, the older uh, protocols getting replaced. This sounds like a, a great idea. What, what though, say we are all IP6, DNSSEC yeah. with this, what's the SSL strip equivalent to that? How would you now, okay, <laughs> now that you've, you know, devised this, how would you get around that? I mean. Right. Well, I mean, uh, there are probably a number of attacks lurking, and I've tried to think about it very carefully and, you know, develop things so that, um, you know, it's as secure as possible. Uh, one thing that I would point out, though, is that you, when you look at things like IPv6 and DNSSEC, right, those are a little bit different from convergence in that they require you to really migrate the internet. Yeah. Uh, Everybody get off the internet. <laughs> you know, adult swim. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. out of the pool. Right, right, right. Yeah. Which is, what the thing about convergence is that servers don't have to do anything differently. Like if you have an SSL site, you don't do anything differently. That it all happens on the client side, right? So and I so can right now just go and see, like, and I can ping hack5.org and see what different people are saying about the trust of my site. Sure, sure. As opposed yeah, exactly. to like McAfee or whatever, which flags us as terrorists, because, you know, we are, uh -huh, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, exactly. And so, uh, you know, really what this means is that if you make this change in the four major web browsers, you're done. You know that the, the certificate authority system. Okay, so is, you've is released open. it for uh, for Just Firefox. For Firefox. Yeah. Okay, and I'm sure we'll see the community get in on that, and we'll see the Chrome extensions and the Opera and all that. Yeah. Where can people get in on this? Uh, from the website convergence.io. Awesome. Thank you so much, Moxie. It's Thank a pleasure you. to speak to you. Thank you. All right, we're going to have continued coverage of DEF CON 19 in just a bit, but first we're going to take a quick break. There are two things IT professionals and their clients have in common, that they want the job done right and they want it done fast. And that's why I highly recommend GoToAssist Express by Citrix for anyone in IT. It puts clients at ease with its simple and secure support and puts you in a position to do what you do best, access, diagnose, and resolve. Try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. Visit gotoassist.com slash hack5 to see how you can deliver live tech support to anyone, anywhere with GoToAssist Express. That's gotoassist.com slash hack5 for a free trial. She said geeks are sexy and asked me to stay crafty as Etsy. Coca said I ain't about the beats. I'm joined to it like it's KCD. Catch the please. Wanna know how to geek? Gotta track that. Max out your rhyme stack with a light pack. Hypertext, known to address bars. Make a tumble up out your track star. It's the DA.